I'm happy. I'm happy that he gets to go somewhere. He's happy. He feels appreciated. The nice sunshine will hit his warm bottom. But at the end of the day, Skip, he's going to be 43, and those other guys aren't going anywhere, and he's not winning no MVP, and they're not winning the Super Bowl. So get that thought out of your mind. There's one name out there I don't hear anybody talking about, and I'm going to bring him up right here, right now. His name is Scotty Miller. Remember the name because he was a rookie for the Bucs last year. A sixth-round draft choice out of Bowling Green who has track speed. He ran 4-3 at his pro day. Scotty Miller. Um, here's the thing. When you look at what, they, what he's gone into, you get two 1,000-yard receivers, actually two maybe 12, 1,300-yard receivers. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have two tight ends. I don't believe people realize how good uh, uh, O.J. Howard can be, Skip. I this agree. Dude, this dude can be special. 6'5", 255, 260, can run like he can, can catch the football. He just needs more opportunities. Now, I don't know how many more opportunities he's going to get when he has those two legit guys outside. Cameron Brait, who had a great relationship with Jameis, Imagine Tom loves throwing to the tight ends. Tom, some of Tom's best years is when he had those two tight end mm -hmm. sets going in New yep. England. Tom Brady will turn the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the woeful Buccaneers, <laughs> into a division winner and into a conference winner. Wow. They, they are Super Bowl bound because of Brady and the fit with Bruce Arians. Of course not. And I don't know that anyone realistically believes that they do. They are in... A far tougher division. Tom Brady goes from having to beat Josh Allen, Sam Darnold, and Ryan Fitzpatrick to having to beat Drew Brees, Matt Ryan, and Teddy Bridgewater. You go from having the number one across the board defense in football last season to a defense last year that was good the final half of the year, but has not been consistently good year in, year out since Gruden was there, or since Tony Dungy handed the reins off to Gruden nearly 20 years ago. You go from the best coach and most consistent coaching staff in the entire NFL to a good coach. Now, Bruce Arians is a good coach, but he's obviously not Bill Belichick. And so the only upside for Brady as far as winning is he got out of Patrick Mahomes' conference that you can, in theory, make the Super Bowl without having to play the Chiefs. But aside from that, everything just got harder for Tom. Saddle Brady with an opening day loss, and then watch what happens. Because as I look down the schedule, greatness is going to happen. I still believe in this team, Shannon Sharp, the way I always did. They're going to be better. Excellent defense down the stretch with Todd Bowles, I think one of the smartest defensive coordinators out there. I think Tampa ends up being a, a wild card team next year. Yes, you will. I want to be very clear about Brady because First, his leadership is very important, very important in terms of keeping t the team in it and all of that. I'm not diminishing that. I'm focusing on Belichick. The answer is yes, Brady will regret it. We have the terms of a trade now in place between the New England Patriots and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Patriots are sending the rights to Rob Gronkowski along with a seventh round draft pick to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for a fourth round draft pick. But Marcellus, mm, yes. I'm gonna start with you, bro. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it crazy for OJ Howard to say this? Not crazy at all, he's dead on. Look at this offense. If you talk about replacing Jameis Winston, who went out there and did his job even though he turned the ball over entirely too much? But you replace him with Tom Brady the GOAT and all of a sudden you get the same reward if not more but none of the risk in terms of turning the ball over. Then you start naming off all of these talents on this roster. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Rob Gronkowski, O.J. Howard, Ronald Jones. They drafted an alignment in the first round on top of having already a top 10 pass blocking offensive line. You add all that up. Then you say Byron Leftwich called the plays with Bruce Arians. Right there is your head coach. Of course this team is going to go out there and perform at a high level, maybe the best offense we're going to see in the league. How much better are the Buccaneers right now than they were 24 hours ago? 
Massively. I mean, they've added another Hall of Fame caliber football player. And Greeny, a couple weeks ago, I told you this team was still was three moves away. They needed a pass blocking offensive tackle, a pass catching running back, and then someone that was comfortable with Tom Brady as a pass catcher that was going to work the middle of the field. I did not think it was going to be Rob Gronkowski, but now this addition allows the, the Bucks offense to have somebody in the middle of the field that knows Tom Brady, knows how he thinks and how he sees things. And really, two two areas that are going to be tremendously impacted by the addition of Gronk for this offense. And they're the two most important areas for an offense. Third down in the red zone. <laughs> Gronk's impact on Tom Brady in those two areas is almost, he becomes like two times the quarterback. And so, imagine now people sitting at home realizing Tom Brady's got Gronk back to work the middle of the field. And now defenses have to pay attention to that. And that's going to free up Godwin and Mike Evans, who we've talked at nauseum about. Greeny, take the San Francisco 49ers out of the equation. They're the team to beat in the NFC. I think this move now puts the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as the second best team in the NFC when it comes to teams to beat. Stephen A., will Brady and Gronk get Tampa back to a Super Bowl? I believe they will. I believe they will because I think the weapons are them combined with their experience is what does it. If you were just relying on them to be great, that would be something different. But when you have the requisite weapons that they have available to them, plus the coaching of Bruce Arians, uh, the, the offensive stewardship of Byron Leftwich, who I don't think gets enough credit, and you talk about adding veteran missing pieces like Brady and Gronk, I think they can get it done. As, new, as great as New Orleans is, they've come up short in the postseason. Green Bay isn't what they used to be, even though I root for my man Aaron Rodgers every single day because he's still a bad man in my eyes. Don't get me started with anybody in the NFC East. And Jimmy Garoppolo is the favorite in the NFC West. I ain't sold. I think Tampa Bay could pull it off. I don't know if they will, particularly this season, but I think in the next two years, they could find themselves in the Super Bowl. And then in situations, make this guy a situational player, third down, two-minute red zone, and, and I think this team can compete against anybody in the league. And, and to me, man, it's, it's a horrible matchup for people, and, and I think they're legitimate Super Bowl contenders now with this addition of Gronk. Uh, Saints, Bucks, Panthers, Falcons. I think the Falcons are a bit of a mess. I think they may bail on their head coach who's in a lame duck year halfway through the season. Carolina 7-9, and nine, but fighters chance they blow somebody's season up uh i think the saints are the best team and i think tampa bay takes about six weeks to get their act together really could have used a preseason didn't have one their defense my prediction is tampa's defense will actually be the story the first six weeks of the year tom brady in the super bowl um bucks were a number three total offense last year and they've added shady mccoy gronk and tom brady i think the thing that's really interesting with this team that we haven't talked about Tom is new, but this is Bruce Arians and Todd Bowles' second year in the organization. So what Tampa was last year, frankly, and it's kind of obvious, they were just new. They had new coach, new coordinator, new players. So now all the young players are older. They've added veteran players, and Bowles and Bruce Arians are now in their second year. Who wins first, Brady or Belichick when it comes to the Super Bowl? Belichick will win first. First of all, Belichick is much more responsible for the Patriots' success in the Patriot way than Brady, although Brady's also very responsible. If you have to ask, you know, in, in the NFL, it's the head coach. Maybe they have, if you're being generous, a, ten, a 1 in 10 shot to win the Super Bowl this year. And by the way, given Brady's age and decline, that's the best shot he'll ever have. Tom Brady got another gift this past week. Leonard Fournette. But he's been there a handful of months, and they've now given him an iPad, a drone, and two PlayStations. It's not just the gifts. It's that they're showing a commitment to Brady. We're going for it. We're all in. We'll spend a little money. That's why he ultimately left New England. The, the certainty, the continuity of Drew Brees being in this office again, Sean Payton being at the helm, and you, Jerry Cook, Emmanuel Sander, Michael Thomas, very good offensive line. Defensively, they're better than people think. With Marcus Lattimore, Cam Jordan, DeMario Davis were first-team All-Pro at the linebacker position. Yep. So for me, Skip, I went with the Saints yep. over Seattle, and I got Kansas City over the Saints in the Super Bowl. Mm. So I got Baltimore winning the AFC and winning the Super Bowl over Tampa Bay. This is going to be that magical ride year. It's going to be the best story in football. 
it's going to be the best, as you tell me, narrative because it's going to be an MVP, oh, it's a great narrative. MVP narrative because Tom Brady went to the worst receivers as a, as a group in football to me last year in New England to the best mm -hmm. that he has now in Tampa Bay. So Brady will be protected, I think, a little better than he was last year. They don't have just a decent defense. They have a top 10 defense with a top five coordinator in Todd Bowles. Morstead hits it, hangs it high. Mickens hauls it in at the 15-yard line, called for a fair catch, and that's where Tom Brady and the Buccaneer offense will set up after a 39-yard punt, and I don't think there's been a more anticipated uniform change maybe in the history of the league to see what the GOAT looks like in pewter. Brady keeps. Throws. Pass is caught. That's Chris Godwin. Clear out on the outside with the receiver, and then you've got Chris Godwin, who he's working on the corner route, and this ball was perfectly thrown by Tom Brady. Three tight ends in the ball game. Brady's going to keep, and take it in for the touchdown. Tom Brady slams it down, and he's got a touchdown for the exclamation point at the end of his first drive as quarterback of the Tampa Bay Bucks. So far, Kamara has not carried the ball, has three catches for a yard. This one nearly picked, and it gets into the hands of Jared Cook. Air under it is Jamel Dean came close. I, th I thought Jamel Dean had it. It just right over the top of his fingers, and I even got a piece of it. And Dominican Sue. Reeves has been looking for Cook on third down so far. Here it's Kamara for the touchdown. Patriots won today with Cam Newton at quarterback. As they beat Miami, here's a pass that is picked. Intercepted and back the other way, Marcus Williams. Same page, and let's take another look at it. Oh, it's Mike Evans, and, and I don't think he was expecting the ball. Yeah, he comes off, and then he throttles it down, and Brady's expecting him to continue. Here is Kamara. He's got his second. Now got his hand on the turf, ready for third and 13. And Brady is sacked. Brought down from behind by Hendrickson. He pushes this to a 54-yard field goal try by Ryan Suckup, and it's blocked. Here, Tom Brady knows that. He won't take any chances. Just a three-man rush. Brady steps through, fires, incomplete for Godwin. Got it to Godwin, but Malcolm Jenkins was there, and the ball ends up on the ground. So it was one of those bang-bang plays. I, I, I don't think it was a penalty, but I can understand as the quarterback. He did get the right hand, right arm in there and made contact just before it arrived, but it's in this game by Tampa. On second and 15, this one's picked. Back the other way for the touchdown. It's Janoris Jenkins, a pick six. This offense, you say, what can you do to get it going? Blitz from Lattimore. Brady airs it out. That's Evans, and pass is incomplete. But a flag is down. Marcus Williams in coverage, and that's a big penalty. Might get the Bucks. Cameron Great. He's a red zone weapon. As Brady throws, easy touchdown for O.J. Howard. And what an answer by Brady. Down by 17. And zone passes, Evans, and a touchdown. And Tom Brady's debut with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers ends in an 11-point loss. Said that. Tom Brady read it wrong. That's what he said. Now, I've been trying to tell people, I said, guys, it's going to take some time. you got to realize he had no OTAs, he had no mini camps, and basically, oh, that's Tom Brady. Mm. Oh. Forgive me. Mm. I just happen to play 14 years. Right. Is Brady going to win? The, Brady's going to win this week. Carolina's defense is not very good. Their secondary is bad. Yeah, Brady's going to win this week, but I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers may have a little buyer's remorse. If you go back and look at the last 10 games that Tom Brady has played, Jameis Winston has been a better player, and I don't think Tom Brady can turn it around. This says that without Bill Belichick there to give him the team's success that masks his decline – 
He's obviously in decline. Belichick won after week one. Brady zip. Belichick's winning. That's what this season is about for those two teams in an historical sense. Like, when we look back at this, that's what we're going to be really evaluating. Is it Brady or Belichick? It's one of the hottest debates in sports for, like, 20 years. And now we want to see. Brady went to Tampa. All the weapons, coach, OC, underrated defense, his security blanket, and Gronk, who, who maybe is the third best tight end on the team. Like, who knows? Like, they, they are deep everywhere on offense. They even picked up some name brand running backs. Uh, in the offseason, they got everything he wants. And, and Brady, as he showed last year, when he needed to beat Miami to get, to get a bye in the first week, couldn't do it. Last w game of the season, well, he doesn't have weapons. I don't know, Cam did okay without the weapons. Um, same guys, right? Setting up the screen for McCaffrey. That was an off target Aaron throw. And Jordan Whitehead came flying in to just scoop that off the deck actually going to alter Teddy's throw. He's got to get it over the top of Ndamukong Su, a little too far for Christian McCaffrey, and there you go, right there. Johnny on the spot, as you said, Whitehead. Tampa as well. Brady deep down the middle for Evans. Inside the 30 of Carolina, and Mike Evans is down to the 21. Here's Jones, stiff arm, end zone. Ronald Jones with a touchdown for the Bucks. Bridgewater stepping up. That ball's loose. Jason Pierre Paul scooped it up. Nobody touched him down, so that's a live ball. And he muscles ahead to the 23 yard line. Another takeaway for Tampa Bay. Well, here it is, Antoine Winfield coming off the edge here. You're going to see him. Now watch him stop his feet. You can't see, but he spins back when, there it is, spins back, slaps it, Teddy Bridgewater, creates the fumble. That is just great work. I mean, you're talking about a DB that's got pass rushing skills right there. Yep. And that's one of the things, the signature about Todd Bowles, a defensive coordinator, and his defense. They are going to err on the side of aggression. We need team again. Brady pumps and throws. Back shoulder for Evans, and just like that, touchdown Tampa Bay. Well, it starts with protection. Tom Brady on the pump fake right there, and you tell me nonverbal communication doesn't matter. Watch the double move right here. Now, sit down. I'm going to throw you open on the back shoulder to Mike Evans. You think practice matters? He didn't practice in week one. He had one catch. He's already making a difference here in week two. Fourteen Tampa Bay points. All of them off turnovers. Left in that right arm. A fumble though here, and Carolina's going to take it away potentially. Ronald Jones with a tough exchange with Brady. Now you've got to get that arm up. You've got to get ready for that football. You don't. You put the elbow out there. Faulty exchange, and now the turnover. Charlton, the rookie. Upon it's a fake. They went to Jeremy Chin, trying to run up the middle. They got stopped shy. Flea flicker for net back to Brady. And he's got an open man in Justin Watson. Into the red zone, Tampa Bay. The target. And here is Fournette trying to plunge in, and he's in for his first Tampa Bay Buccaneer touchdown. Bridgewater throws behind his intended target in D.J. Moore, and it's picked up by Carlton Davis. Matt Rule, first time on the road as an NFL head coach. Good effort in the second half from his crew, but Tampa Bay, a 21-0 start. They add on in the fourth and hold on for a divisional win to move to 1-1. One one. Well, 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 Cliff Kellerman. What do you have to say for yourself? He's still got it.
Well, this is what I was going to say on the show, after, but, but my microphone wasn't working on Friday, but I did say it on the radio, and you guys heard it in the production meeting, and now I'm going to say it now. I said on Friday, Tom Brady would be overrated on Monday morning. Here we are on Monday morning, and you're already, everyone's overrating him. Otto, let's start know. with you, Ben. Tom Brady's Bucks look like Super Bowl contenders. Marcellus, before I disrespect you any further, sir, <laughs> can you just answer me? Are you saying yes or no? Because I just want to know if I need to offend you. Yes, just... they are. Okay. Uh, see, here's the problem. I, I, I'm so disappointed in Marcellus, specifically today, more than any other day in the history of television in which I've been oh, watching him. Wow. And I've been the watching him since he's television. been at other networks. Here's your problem, Marcellus. Problem. Your expectations for teams are so pathetically low that it is oh, astronomically yeah, embarrassing. Is... No, the Bucks don't yet look like Super Bowl contenders. And there's the block. A flag is thrown. But Patrick O'Connor scoops it up for Tampa Bay and takes it down to the 10-yard line of Denver. Brady throws it for Chris Godwin, lunging for that goal line, and he is in for the touchdown. Welcome back to the Bucks, Chris Godwin. Well, they're just going to clear this out with Godwin. He's going to come from here, and everybody's going to clear, and then he's just going to go underneath those clear routes. You see everybody run with Gronkowski in the red zone. He gets underneath Gronkowski and then fights for that end line, knows where it is. There's the perfect throw. You see Godwin's got to put his shoulder down, his head down, reach for the and extend for the goal line for the touchdown. Third down. Brady. Lofting it. Scotty Miller's the target. And Scotty Miller's got it inside the 30. What a catch as he beats the safety, Justin Simmons. Well, we talked about Scotty Miller, his ability to run, and he gets all the way to the backside safety here, who's got to be able to pick him up on this. As you see Kareem Jackson cut across the field, that goes to Justin Simmons. There may have even been P.I. there, but Scotty Miller does a great job. Look at that concentration, the hand. Quick throw into that tunnel, and it's caught for a touchdown by Mike Evans. Sneaky design for a score for Tampa Bay. Well, they're just going to run the quick screen out there. Chris Godwin gets the block for Mike Evans. And I, I tell you what, you know, you're expecting something. You're expecting a run. You're expecting that QB sneak. Look, Chris Godwin at the goal line right there. Catch within a yard. There's no interference. Another drive starts with great field position for Tampa Bay. And Brady wants a shot into a tight window. Penalty marker is thrown. Josie Jewell and O.J. Howard are fighting for it. Penalties declined. Result of the play, first down. Oh, my goodness. One-handed, up against the body. He caught not only Josie Jewell's helmet, he caught the ball at the same time. Oh, my goodness. I caught myself a football. Brady for Evans. Another snare and another touchdown for Mike Evans. Another third and long. Driscoll maneuvering and wrapped up. That ball came out loose. If he's ruled down, it's a safety. And indeed, it is a sack for Shaquille Barrett and two points on the board from the Bucks defense. Well, Bruce Arians and the Bucks still offensively, they still are sputtering some, but they've got so much talent, and this defense is unbelievable. They've got a chance to be one of the all-time greats. With Tampa Bay, two-time coach of the year. Take the handoff, Brady sings it downfield and in stride. He connects. Mike Evans. Ocean man is great. Brady. Rifles. Touchdown. It's great on the receiving end. The Buccaneers continue to impress in first quarters. Kelly remains in there. Fake it again. Herbert, deep drop, looking to uncork the deep ball. And he's got the separation. Touchdown, Tyron Johnson. Four minutes to play in this opening quarter. Second and nine. Buccaneers driving again. Brady intercepted. Picked off by Michael Davis. And Davis is going to go all the way. Pick six. Touchdown, Chargers. A minute drive for the Chargers. Second and eight. Herbert. Tosses. Touchdown. Parham. 
pulls it in. Suck up trying to cut into the Chargers lead. Ryan Suck up misses it. Mazza, the snapper, long holds it, flag down. Badgley curves it through for Tampa Bay. Brady steps up, gets rid of it. And that pass could not be handled by Evans. He was looking for a flag immediately. Now he's getting into it. With Rayshawn Jenkins. And that's one where Mike Evans' frustration boiled over. I'll be surprised if this call doesn't go against him. That's just in his blood. He can't no, help just it. go get him. Oh, a fumble! Chargers cough it up. With 41 seconds left, Joshua Kelly, the rookie. First three weeks of the season. This is a third and goal. Brady. Tosses. Touchdown! Mike Evans grabs it for the score. Third down and six. Herbert is sacked. They brought pressure in the form of Whitehead, the first sack of the afternoon for the Tampa Bay defense. And they did that on first and second down because they won it in the running game. And that allowed Jordan Whitehead. Brown pick. Checks in on a third and four. Brady. Hits Justin Watson for a first down. Gronk still yet to find the end zone for the Buccaneers. Had seven targets last week. Brady. Oh, perfectly thrown to O.J. Howard. Touchdown, Buccaneers. He lofts it upstairs. Kaiser White in coverage, 28 yards on the touchdown connection. And so you get O.J. Howard in here, and then you get him out on the linebacker, Kaiser White, 44, as he goes up the seam. And once he gets that, Brady sees the read and throws the football even before he breaks open. 47-yard attempt. Badgley. It's off to the left. No good. To do again, you get one volunteer mention. If that's your mention for the day, we'll move Is on. Is that it? Is that all? Brady, home run ball on the way, and it's hauled in. Scotty Miller over the shoulder for the Buccaneers. And you remember the ball Herbert threw in the first half that was so perfectly thrown for the touchdown to Tyron Johnson? Tom Brady says, I see you, kid, and I'll answer with my own long ball here. The 43-year-old for 46 yards downfield. Fake it. Oh, you can't do it any better. Brady to Miller. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Miller coming from your right to your left off the play fake. Wide open. The play fake absorbed everyone in the front seven. 12 seconds left in the third. Stack the receivers. Herbert a deep drop off his back foot. Puts it out there. It's caught. And he's gone. Jalen Guyton to the house. Touchdown. 6-6. Six, six. Second and 20. Another deep shot for Brady. Evans adjusts. Takes a hard shot inside the 10. Mike Evans, one of the elite receivers in the NFL. Clearly not 100%, but, but his still will go out and get it done. But his head and his eyesight are 100%. Evan Washburn, you're right. His gait is not what it normally is. Brady fires underneath. Vaughn, he gets there. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Second down and long. Take the running play. Brady timing round. 50-50 ball. It belongs to Gronk. Working against Kaiser White. Rob Gronkowski with a big grab for the Buccaneers. And you mentioned it earlier, Iron. Kaiser White, number 44 in blue. He was a college safety, turned NFL linebacker. So he's used to playing the ball. Second time now, he's been victimized downfield by a tight end. First time, it was O.J. Howard. This time, Rob Gronkowski introduces himself to, to, to this afternoon's festivities. Suck up. Nails it. And seven 
for L.A. Play action. Herbert. Deep ball. He gives it away. Intercepted by Carlton Davis. Davis has blockers. Walks the tightrope, but he's out of bounds. He needs one timeout to put this game on ice. And they get it. Ronald Jones. Tom Brady still cooking after all these years. 38-31. The Buccaneers get it done. Tom Brady, this yesterday was why they brought Tom Brady into Tampa. It's not about ability. It's about belief. The players stopped believing in Jameis Winston. Yesterday's first half looked like last year. Tampa was apathetic at home. They were a bad home team last year, two and six. They were apathetic at home. They had a pick six. They trailed. They had the weapons but couldn't make it work. And after a slow start, didn't have sort of the maturity to bring them back. The second half, Tom Brady happened. Actual adjustments, scored on every possession, spread the ball to nine different receivers, all five touchdown passes, five different receivers. That's not ability. That is belief. And to me, that tells me that that coaching staff has got a great feel for Tom Brady. Brady was 6-7 on deep balls yesterday, 185 yards. He was perfect in the second half. And I just want to remind everybody, that defense for the Chargers is the same defense two, ago, two weeks ago that shut down Patrick Mahomes in that Chiefs offense. That is a darn good defense. If I'm the NFC, I'm scared to death of what I saw out of Tampa Bay yesterday because Brady looks incredible. Play action here. Arians doesn't do a ton of that, and the pass is caught in the first. The rookie season for Tyler Johnson. Good snap, good hold, good kick. On first down, Robinson. That's in the air and picked. Back the other way, Carlton Davis. Out of bounds near midfield. Intercept the ball. He wasn't able to do that the first couple of years. Here's a pass caught second of the game for Johnson, still going. Tyler Johnson showing his strength, takes it down inside the 10. 35-yard completion. This is Peter Schrager's guy, Tyler Johnson. He called it this morning that he was going to have a big night. That's an excellent route. He's getting his opportunity, of course, because of the injuries to Godwin and Justin Watson. He got targeted a couple of weeks ago, dropped the perfect pass against Denver. This time, a really nice route by him. That's not what Arians was looking for. Here is Evans, and they get the touchdown anyway, and a flag is thrown. The ball has to be perfect. Defense number 33. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. They call Jalen Johnson. He gets called with a... Here's Montgomery. Cuts up the... Oh, touchdown! Mike Evans there in the slot. Good protection. Vaughn! Incomplete. Big hit by Kyle Fuller, and now a flag is thrown very late. This. No, nothing wrong with that. Nope. And they're going to talk about it, which is the right thing to do. You'd hate to see that this drive continues when, I mean, this is textbook. This is what, this is what they, this would be on the, the coaching reel right here as to how you do it in today's game. Here's a call. There is no foul on the play. Fourth down. That is a good job by this crew. But the ball's moving there. I really think that since this was ruled incomplete on the, the field that you need to stay because he doesn't really have full control of the ball to me when that first foot was on the ground. After review, the receiver caught the ball, was hit and fumbled. It was recovered by Chicago at the 27 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Bears at that spot. Zone. Falls end zone. What a catch! Graham, touchdown! Rushing for Ronald Jones, that's a great start. Brady is taken down, Khalil Mack. Illegal block in the back, offense number 87. 10-yard penalty, repeat second down. Long, so they can get in range without a first down. Brady hangs in, and he does take a big chunk of that yardage out as he finds Evans. Suck up, hits another. 
James Daniels has a pec injury. His return is questionable. Foles is sacked. That is Vita Vea. Done a good job limiting the big plays tonight. Big pressure. Down goes Brady. Off the edge, making the play. Line and realize, hey, where's the guy blocking me? Good to see, see Kashawn Vaughn back in the ball game. Brady steps up, throws a duck, and it's caught by Brait. Holding nope. offense number 78. Ten yard penalty. Have not changed that narrative tonight. Pass interference, offense number 13. Ten yard penalty, still first down. 30. And Brady is going to be sacked. Flag down again. And then another two separate fouls on this play. For two fouls on the play, one by each team. Personal foul, defense number 52. Holding, offense number 76. Those penalties offset, first down. Over personal foul, offense number 66. 15-yard penalty, the down counts. It'll be second down. To come away with a suck-up field goal. Brady's going to go for the home run. He's got Evans turning and incomplete. And another penalty back there where Brady was. It looks like they're going to get a first down on a late hit. Evans turned Holding. three Offense ways. Number 65. That penalty's declined. Fourth down. And they call a hold against the Buccaneers. And it was against Alex Kappa. Well, that was an ugly possession. And Brady, Brady thinks so too, and he's letting him know. Santos got it. There have been five lead changes in this game, and Tom Brady is out there looking to make it six. For this team. Pass is caught. That's Evans. You got Tristan Wirfs, the right tackle, who is playing on one leg. They handle Mack. The pass is incomplete for Evans. Brady underneath hits the rookie, and Vaughn brought down by Smith. Third down and five. Pass is off the hands of Gronkowski. Without Watson, fourth down and five. Brady passes, broken up, incomplete, and the Chicago Bears are going to take over. But that's fourth down, and it's Chicago's ball, and that's the end of the night, and there may be some confusion out on the field. And Brady's finally being told that's it. Uh, you had the running back coming out with the option route that you could have easily hit for three yards, and he could have ran for another five or six yards. Yep. Uh, this is a big deal. Um, I don't understand how this happens when you have a guy um, that's done it at a high level for a very long time, and this is why he's great. Senior moment? You know, a lot of people think about the physical, <laughs> but for Tom, it's mental. We Tom blew it, and listen, this is bigger than anything about the Bucks record the Bears getting to four and one, any of that. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. And this season is not going to go well for the Bucs. This season already is not going well for Brady with two pick sixes in five games. Congrats to him, by the way. He avoided one last night. Something wrong with Tom Brady? Mm. There's absolutely something wrong with Brady, man. And let me tell you, the issue is that Tom Brady, I've said this all along, mm. I'm struggling to find out does he actually fit in with the Bucs. But when you look at the Buccaneers, Leonard Fournette, a bruiser. Mm. He, ain't a, he ain't a receiver. Mm. Ronald Jones, phenomenal game, over 100 yards yesterday. Rojo. But he's not that kind of back. Mm. What is wrong with Tom Brady right now, Marcellus? On my first lap, On your I first think lap. that the Oregon – doesn't necessarily mesh with the body. Would you say that Brady is the one to blame for the Bucks' loss? Of course. Of course he is. Okay, the game's on the line. Who's going to be the most special? Not only did he fail to complete on third and fourth down, he clearly didn't know what down it was. So something went awry. Something went really amiss in the last couple of plays because 
Somehow there was confusion going on. But I, I got to tell you, if there's anybody in the history of football who deserves the benefit of the doubt, it is that man in that mm -mm. circumstance. Mm -mm. So uh, let's see. We got a new head coach who's a loosey-goosey. Let's just throw it all over the lot and see if we can outscore the opposition. Mm -hmm. Kind of a head coach. His team leads the NFL in penalties, and they had 11 more last night for 109 yards. There were blunders all over the field. There was a, the, the, the offensive center head-butting after a play. You'd never Instead, he hands, and uh, no signal. Kyle moved and now they call line. touchdown. It yeah. is a touchdown for Aaron Jones. It's the first time he saw him and just loves the way he plays the game. Pass is picked. Intercepted back the other way. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Intercepted by Jamel Dean. Interceptions. The Packers have taken the play clock down to about one. Here's one broken up. Another pick. Deflected and back is Mike Edwards just into the ball game. And he is down at the two. He's now out of that medical tent. They're going to need him here in a moment. Touchdown, Ronald Jones. Of the screen, Brady likes to look his way as Tom steps up, throws, end zone, pass caught. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. It's the rookie, Tyler Johnson. Ball's low. This is unnerving for a quarterback. When you're trying to get the football, get your eyes back up the field and locate safeties and know exactly what it is that you got. And yet, he's got one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Johnson. It's a really excellent route. Again, play clock at one. And Rodgers is set. Levante David makes a play. Take a shot. Green Bay just used their second time out. Here you go. And downfield, Godwin. First down, out of bounds. Whole different field going in at halftime. Brady lofts it. Gronkowski. He's got it for the touchdown. And these two have now hooked up 91 times. 21 seconds left, no timeouts. And now sacked again as he's shoved down by Indomitian Sue. All Tampa Bay and the smile on the face of the GOAT. 28 point win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's what an entrance, Skip. Man, you won a game. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you won one game, and you pretend like you <sighs> How are you? It's a great morning here on Undisputed. See? Let me get situated and just do something like this. Original gangsta. <laughs> Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. Original and still gangsta. You know what, Skip? Yeah. How we, are you, Shannon? We won the championship last. I didn't do all that. I didn't make no grand. What injury. championship? <laughs> yes. All that matters is the NFL championship. The Super Bowl is going to be played in Tampa Bay. Did you win yesterday? Ha. Ah. You won one game. Ha. Ah. Here they come. After the right leg injury. Lofting it up there. What a reach by Aguilar for the touchdown. Brady with a good pocket to throw from, and he finds Rob Gronkowski, who fumbled the football. That ball is still in play, and Gronk rescues it, diving past the 45-yard line. Sneak from Brady, and he'll power it home for the touchdown. Did that in week one. His first Tampa Bay score was a rushing touchdown against the Saints. He gets Brady off the fake. Has time. Throws for Gronkowski. And he's got it inside the five-yard line. A little bit touched in the, in the center there. Red zone chance. Looking for Gronk. And he's got it for a touchdown. Back-to-back -back weeks. Rob Gronkowski finding the end zone. Here's to get a stop. Brady. Deep shot to the end zone for Miller, and it is caught for a touchdown. Miller and Lawson battling again. 
Lawson got the best of them last time. This time, Scotty Miller wins it for six. Well, I tell you, I mean, what a beautiful job. You watch Brady. His eyes go to um, Evans on the opposite side. He comes back and works the one-on-one -on -one to Miller. And what a throw. Watch Brady's eyes. Now, this is beautiful. Look at him. He comes over here. He's looking quick. Now he gets back over to the opposite side, holds the safety in the middle of the field. And, I mean, come on. He still got it right there. Look at it. Brady looking for Godwin. And it is holding for the touchdown. On the field, playing corner. Big drive for Carr and the Raiders. And it's off the hands of Aguilar and taken away by Antoine Winfield. First career interception for the outstanding rookie. I was 300 pounds. I had the legs of a 180-pound man. It's an interesting body proportion. Yes. A little bit. Penalty marker thrown, card Ooh. trying to dive for that oh, first down crazy. marker and took an absolute shot. Trying to rectify that. Brady, back of the end zone for Tyler Johnson, and he hauls it in for a touchdown. Richard breaking a couple of tackles and diving ahead shy of the sticks. It'll be fourth down, and that should take us to the final whistle. Is Tampa. Um, first of all, point differential, which is a thing Vegas cares about, number one in the league. Yardage differential, number one in the league. Sack differential, number two in the league, meaning they protect Tom and they get to yours. I think they can beat you physically. They can beat you with speed. They can beat you with smarts. They can beat you with experience. They can beat you over the top. They can pound the football. They're doing this without Leonard Fournette. Like they're doing this right now without Mike Evans playing much and Chris Godwin. They're they're doing this not healthy. I think their linebacking core is the fastest linebacking core I have seen in years. So Tampa's my number one team in the NFL. Second down and six off the play fake. Looking for Scotty Miller and has Miller and another first down for the Buccaneers. And they are That's the reason they've gone to four wide receivers a lot. Brady has an issue with a low snap recovers. And then overthrew Mike Evans. Bit of an issue with that snap in the hold, and suck up gets it through. He's always been that way. Second down and eight. Brady underneath. That was deflected at the line. That ball comes out. Let's see if that was a catch and a fumble. The Giants have it. Jones looking for Deion Lewis, and he hung on to it. Touchdown. Amazing sliding grab from Deion Lewis. Shot here at him. Blitz is picked up nicely, and then Brady's going to be swallowed up. Leonard Williams got to Tom Brady. Under five to play in the half. And Tom Brady and the Bucks continue to trail. Whitehead shook it off. Giants right back to the line of scrimmage. And Wayne Gallman into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Pressure comes late. Jones hit as he throws. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Carlton Davis. Another nice pocket for Brady to throw out of Mike Evans. First and goal from the three, tipped, and Gronk still catches it. And they're going to give him the touchdown. He had possession long enough. In the backfield, but he's been back there. First and 20. Brady puts some air underneath it, and it is caught. Tyler Johnson from the New York 42 off the play action. Brady has time, able to complete to Cameron Brate. Ends up being a nine-yard penalty. Brady throwing for Evans in his neighborhood. Touchdown! No player in the NFL has been targeted in the end zone more than Mike Evans. Dig to get this ball. Look at it. He sees the ball in the air. And he has to dig and dive. Second and ten from the 19. Jones for the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown! Jones throwing for it, and it is knocked away. I mean, uh, New York can't catch a break. Unbelievable. And you know what? The difference? You know, you have a, a quarterback on one side that finishes and that knows how 
uh, to, to have the details right to win games. That's who Tom Brady is. He's a winner, and he's done that. He made big plays. He kept fighting, kept grinding, kept fighting, kept grinding, and come up just a little bit short. Yeah, that's the difference between the good quarterbacks and the great ones in this league. Is and overhead to Raymond James Stadium. Three months from now, this will be the site of the Super Bowl. And as Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are all set to take on Drew Brees and the Saints on Sunday Night Football. Camara that way as well. It's third down and ten. Four-man rush. Brees hangs in the pocket. Throws wide, wide open as he inbounds. Is the question Smith for the touchdown? Traquan Smith. Brady. Second and seven, Hill, a wide out. Brees fires over the middle, that's caught. And fighting his way toward the goal line. The ball comes out at the end is Jared Cook. The ball is out and Tampa Bay has it. With the Giants. Murray is the back. Brees again, great protection, throws, and that will be caught. That's Adam Troutman. The Saints and backs up Brees at second down and 10. Brees under pressure, throws, and reaching for it is Emmanuel Sanders for the touchdown. From the fullback in, we got Kamara. Alvin seeks the end zone, and he's in there. Another touchdown. Power rankings uh, that everybody comes up with each week are going to look a little different this week. Throw mine out, too. Yeah. Wow. Yep. We thought we'd have a classic, but it was a one-man show. That the Tampa Bay Buccaneers mm. got a real problem. And problem is they can't beat these guys. They play, It's not just their own, too. They have been whooped. The opening drive of the season, Brandon, Tampa marched down the field and scored a touchdown. The rest of that game until garbage time, they got outscored 34-10. to 10. This game, they were down 38-0 before Bruce Arians kicked a field goal. And by the way, kicking a field goal down 38 nothing. eh, I don't know if these teams will match up again in the postseason. It's absolutely in play, especially with the new postseason format. Yeah. But if they were to match yeah. up, why would we expect it to go any differently, Brandon? So I, to me, this game, it well, was absolutely about both. New Orleans deserves credit, but Tampa also deserves immense scrutiny for falling flat on its face in its biggest game of the year. Definitely about both, but let's go back to the before the season. What did I say? I said the New Orleans Saints will dominate the regular season, and then the Tampa mm -hmm. Bay Bucks and, mm -hmm. and Tom Brady will dominate the postseason. That Acho, did the Bucks get exposed last night? Bro, they got exposed the week before against the Giants, I told you that. They got taken advantage of last night. They got exposed on Monday night against the New York football Giants. Then they got it taken advantage of. Remember, Marcellus, after the Buccaneers barely squeaked by the Giants, oh, I came on this show and I told you, I said, hey, you've seen the blueprint to beat the Buccaneers. What was the blueprint? Head coach for the Giants, he said, hey, don't beat Tom Brady, beat everyone else. Three-man rush. Brady has all day. Pumps, looks, and has Jones out of the backfield. He's going to come up. And now the ball came loose. And who's going to pick it up? Jones fumbled. Panthers signal they have it. Trying to uncover a very big pile. I think it gets punched out right there. Look at that. That's a great job by Shaq Thompson. That ball is out early. It's a fumble. Definitely a fumble. He was not down by contact. Excellent job by Shaq Thompson with the punch. Fake to Davis. Bridgewater locked in corner of the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. What you can't do is here we go again. Here's Brady. Has some time throws. It's Godwin. He's got the catch out across the 45 and a shot. Brady, four-man rush, going to float one down the far sideline. It is caught by Evans. What a pretty throw by Tom Brady. Over the top of Rasul Douglas, and Evans hauls it in for a gain of 19. Yeah, just a nice play design right here. Watch the job on the outside by Cameron Braid. He allows the uh, the throw over the top as he makes Rasul Douglas. Right. Side of your screen, big old 87. Brady looking the other way, though, firing, and it is caught 
for the touchdown. They go to the other tight end, Cameron Brakes, and the Buccaneers are on the board. Samuel in motion, fake it to him, quick throw to Moore, looking for blocks, and he's got him. DJ Moore has a pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Second and long, four-man rush. Brady lofting for Gronkowski, who hauls it in. Gronk still going, breaking tackles down inside the five. Fake to Fournette. Brady steps into it, throws. Evans, is he inbounds? Touchdown! Eighth of the year for Mike Evans. Let's see if he was in. Yep. And did he hold on? The ground. Definitely has the two feet down, and, and it looks like he's just got really strong hands all the way through the process of that. Ronald Jones will get a big hole. Jones gets by. Ronald Jones may go all the way. Being chased from behind. Does Jones have enough? Still on his feet. Ronald Jones, 98-yard touchdown. Wow. As well with a shoulder injury. Here's a fake blitz again. Bridgewater steps up in trouble. Throws! And it's intercepted by Pierre Paul, who dropped in coverage and has the pick. Brady firing. And it's caught by Brown. That time Pride tried to undercut it, didn't work. And Antonio Brown has a big game. And the sneak. Like, certainly looks like he's in. There's a signal. Touchdown. You know, for the game, but during the course of the game, I mean, this has been back and forth, and, and Tampa Bay has done a tremendous job responding to every counterpunch that the Carolina Panthers have thrown at him. Brady going for Gronkowski. Wide open touchdown, Tampa Bay. And so for the Buccaneers, five touchdowns, five different players scoring touchdowns. Ronald Jones with 192 yards rushing and a 98-yard touchdown run. A very good day for Bruce Arians and the Buccaneers. Bucs are only rushing three. Goff, back of the end zone, caught, touchdown. Robert Woods gets... Pressure by the Rams. Brady able to throw and hit Evans again. Got the first down, trying to spin for more. Still on his feet, and he gets there. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. To this on the next play, amazing. That's 5'11", 183 pounds versus 6 foot, 214, 215 pounds. Brady throwing, another flag comes out. It's Evans down at the Brady's two. That is, this, this is a great matchup. Rams brought an, uh, rather, Bucks brought an extra blocker in and it is Leonard Fournette in for the touchdown. Aided by the Rams pass interference penalties. The Buccaneers go on top. One with Van Jefferson at the top of the screen. Goff throwing and completing. It is Van Jefferson for the touchdown. And it's intercepted. Jason Pierre Paul for the Buccaneers. Goff gift wrapped that to him. to tie the game. Seven catches last week, seven more tonight. Here's Brady to throw. Try to go to Godwin, and it's underthrown. Intercepted. Jordan Fuller. And I'm going to come out around, turn my head around and fire that thing down the field. You think you had it. Goff throwing. 
Akers out of the backfield for the touchdown for the Rams. Here at the bottom. There's third and ten. Brady has to step up. And a flag flies in. He threw the ball. It was batted. He caught it, and then he threw it again. You can't do that. I don't have to check with John Perry on that one. Can't have two forward passes. You see, he's going to Mike Evans right in between the hash and the numbers. That's crazy. A nice job right there by Terrell Lewis of getting his hands up. Oh, Terrell Lewis is a big boy now. He's six foot five, and then when he jumps, he hits him in the bicep. <laughs> That's how high he's up in the air. Tom's like, hey, let me try it again. Before a pass, offense number 12. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is completed catch, but it's short of the line of scrimmage. So we'll play fourth down. In shape, he's running down the sideline all the time, ready to call timeout. That pass is intercepted. Jordan Whitehead for Tampa Bay. Under four to go. Brady has Godwin, who was wide open. And it's a touchdown. <laughs> to try to give the Rams the lead against his old team. And he is perfect there. Tied with Dan Marino for third on the all-time list. Trailing, as you might expect, only Peyton Manning and Drew Brees. Second and three. Brady loads up and fires. Godwin. Second and ten. Here's Brady. Over an outstretch hand, and it's too far. Too far for Brady and intercepted. Jordan Fuller. Hecker's just trying to get this away with one step. There it is. Barner. From the 25 with zeros on the clock. And it's a solid team victory for the L.A. Rams. And They are what they were always going to be. A decent team with a limited quarterback. <laughs> Mine is that rare genius that will not be fully appreciated until long after my time. The correct answer here, of course, remains the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they have Tom Brady and someone needs to go into Bruce Arians' office, and I think that someone is Brady, needs to walk into his office and say, you know what? You're getting this all wrong. It's time to let me get it right. Your boy looked awful last night. There's no way around it. I don't want to hear anything about the defense because I told you. Everybody based everything, because see, if you watch Tampa Bay, oh. everybody wanted to anoint them after they did with, with Green Bay. Mm. And I say, if you watch that defense, I say on the back end, now who said that? I didn't second guess the skip. I told you, I said, skip, they can be had. Mm. I say, they're very undisciplined. I say, they're out of position a lot more than you think. But the guys in, look, you know what? The thing that's going to happen is, is they're going to be a wild card. And they're going to go. Well, oh, the... wait a second. After all that, you're, you've got them in the playoffs? No, 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 hold on. Skip. You're kidding me. Hold on, hold on. After all that diatribe, you've got Tom Brady the in the playoffs? You said he's awful. That he's done. He's washed up. In fact, for four straight years, you have said on this show to open the season, he should go let, home. Let, let me ask you a question. One question. I'm going to turn it over to you. Somebody from the NFC East is mm. going to the playoffs. Are they awful? A simple yes or simple no. Don't explain it. A simple yes or a simple no. What does that have to do with this conversation? Tom Brady was awful last night. He still might make the playoffs. That's the point. Mahomes has not thrown a pass to Kelsey yet, but Kelsey threw one to him, which fell incomplete. And now you want a deep ball. Here it is. Two. Hill for the touchdown. Third and eight. It's like third and one for this team. Down the field, who else? Hill at the 10, cut back, touchdown. Touchdown and a leap. Carlton Davis has been beaten again. First and goal. Ball is on the ground. And is picked up by the Bucks. They make a play, finally. Recovered by Golston. Stripped away by Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett, outstanding play. He's been playing awesome this year, pressuring the quarterback, not getting a ton of sacks all over and over. This is what Tampa needed. Get this place rocking. It's Calvin. Which was a big subject this week. Perfectly thrown that time, and here he is from the pocket, going underneath. Going to Ronald Jones. High stepping it down the sideline. 
Did he stay in? Touchdown! Spans. Gronk owned it. Kelsey's been the man here in the recent history. As Brady goes downfield, and he's got him! He's got Gronkowski to the 10 and to the 5. Back in the end zone, and that was in the direction of Gronkowski. Brady and Chris Jones. Renewing acquaintances. <laughs> yeah, he gets it through there. He's got a second and four. Empty backfield. Going for the big strike. He's got it. It's Hill again for the touchdown. Mike Evans. How do you get everybody the football? What's open? Third and 15 with pressure. Brady goes deep. What a throw. What a catch. Godwin able to hold it in. And somehow Tom Brady hung in there and was able to deliver it 46 yards down the field. This is unbelievable. This is where I said, there's about 10 throws Brady's made this year where I'm like, it's exceptional. It's like Mahomes, there's a throw. One up top again, Matthew was blitzing. Pass is intercepted. Matthew influenced that one as Breland comes away with the theft. Three tight ends on the second and eight. Had to get rid of it. Look out. It's picked off. Picked off the deflection. Matthew, who came into the league, drafted by Bruce Arians, one of his all-time favorite players. This ball, this is Spags over and over the years. Brady's going for the big ball. He's open! Evans for the touchdown on fourth and three. Like a flat route and then go up the sideline. Brady with a perfect throw in between. Spag shows like he's gonna blitz everyone. He doesn't, which was a mistake because you wouldn't have had that kind of time. Ward gets beat up the sideline. Bruce Arians, that's him being really pumped. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like anyway. Yep. Only a Buccaneer back there for the interception. Murphy Bunning comes away with it. When he threw that, it looked like his head got snapped back. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number 90. Oh. It's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Well, you can't hit the in the head area. That's a penalty. They had the arm bar coming up. <laughs> to the end zone, flag out, touchdown Evans. Third and seven. Comes down to this. Rolling out, throwing it, caught. Feet were inbounds. Who else but Hill, who was the star of this game at the start? The pupil is turning into the teacher. They're down in four. Pressure and Cousins is going to go down. Shaq Barrett. First nap in Vikings territory for Tampa Bay. Brady all day, downfield, touchdown, Scotty Miller. Harris who drives on it, and then it's just one-on-one, -on -one. Scotty Miller in a foot race, and Brady initially, I didn't think he saw it, or wasn't going to be able to get it out there. Good snap, good hold, kick, not close. Jones with a lead for the touchdown, Tampa Bay. Boy, they just, they find those kind of lanes. Brady throws, sideline, Evans, what a throw and catch. First and goal, Tampa Bay at the six. The day for Tom Brady. Yeah, really good, and yep, he's in, and they they reduce. But I really think a couple years from now, we're going to look back on this draft and say it's what got him going. Here's a pass caught for the touchdown, Gronkowski. I coach these Bucks. As Cousins hangs in, fires, pass caught, touchdown, Minnesota. Quick throw to Jefferson, he is in. Blitz, and the ball's out. 
Cousins able to get back on top of it as Antoine Winfield forced the fumble. Third down and goal now. Down goes Cousins again. Shaq Barrett. Great lead and just failed to capitalize. Just a four-man rush. Ball is out. Picked up by JPP. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will take over as Jason Pierre-Paul forced it and recovered it. He just took it right off his hand. No, no not quite, but pretty much. I, I thought he I thought he I thought he actually grabbed it right off his hand, but Six and one record against teams under 500. Ooh, mm -hmm. in practice, mm. these Buccaneers look mm. like Super Bowl champions. Mm. But when the bright lights come on in primetime games, I don't see these same Bucks. No, Marcellus, the Bucks don't look like Super Bowl contenders. What they look like to me is that practice all-star in college oh. who you knew when nobody was watching, dude went crazy. Oh. But as soon as the whole world started watching, he wasn't the same guy. Uh Blitz coming. Ryan floating it to the corner of the end zone. It's caught for the touchdown. Two yard attempt. And Koo is up and good. 20. On the fake. Brady with a lot of time. Steps into it. Guns it complete. Evans surging for the end zone. And he's down at the one. Gonna give it to Fournette. And he is in for the touchdown. Ryan over the middle. It's called for the touchdown. Brady three-man rush. All kinds of time, and he hits Evans, who makes him pay. Evans into Atlanta territory. And down. Brady quick throw. Godwin is in. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. He's back in front. And Koo is up, and he is good. Eight for eight from 50-plus this year from Koo. Four-man rush. Brady airing it out, going deep. He's got it to Antonio Brown. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Well, it took him a while to get to it, but Isaiah Oliver's out of the lineup. Tyler Hall has come in. Blitz coming. Ryan in trouble. And down he goes. It is white again. Come with the blitz again. Ryan throws on the run. It's Ridley has a way to go. He's not going to get there. Ridley knew he had a way to go. He tried to turn it around. He could not do it. Edwards was there. So was Cockrell. And the Buccaneers take over with a chance to run it out. An impressive second half for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They were down 17. They win it 31 to 27. On second down, looking for Gronkowski. He hold it in, and he's in for the touchdown. A Gronk spike after the score to open it up here in Detroit. After a quality eight-yard run, deep shot, Chris Godwin. He's got it inside the Detroit 30-yard line. Brady looking deep again. Mike Evans, he gets the separation and the score. Goal is 42. Brady off the fake. Plenty of time to the end zone. Godwin touchdown. of the season. Brady, end zone shot again, and it is Antonio Brown for his second Tampa Bay touchdown. For this first down, with a five-man rush from Tampa Bay, that gets to Chase Daniel, and it's Devin White. All down the field. Hand off to DeAndre Swift, and Dominic and Sue. First man to touch it, that ball came out loose. Looks like Tampa Bay came out of the pack with it. 
from the 25. Blaine Gabbert starting the second half with a throw down the middle, and Rob Gronkowski has a touchdown from Blaine Gabbert. Eight 20-plus yard passing plays for Buccaneers quarterbacks. Make it nine and another touchdown. This one to Mike Evans. We still got another game on NFL Network coming up tonight. Dolphins and Raiders. Don't forget on Prime Video coming up in just a little bit. It'll be Niners and Cardinals. And there is Herb Miller. And for the first time in 13 years, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are headed to the NFL playoffs. The ball where he needs at any moment in the game. Well protected and going deep inside the five. Catch made. Chris Godwin has a Buccaneer touchdown. See Chris Godwin. He's going to run a wheel route on Foyer Alucon. That is a mismatch right from jump. Tom Brady IDs it. He throws with anticipation. On third down after the timeout. A lot of room to run, but Tom doesn't do that. For the end zone, touchdown for the Bucs, Antonio Brown. Starts to play like this and impact games the way we know he's always done in his career. That smells like a lot of trouble. And there looks Scotty Miller had his hands out. I mean, he, he's like, it's coming to the bread basket. You just robbed me, Antonio. Looks like Matt Ryan had trouble on the handoff, and the Buccaneers have the football. Running the other way is Antoine Winfield. And that's going to be a Buccaneer touchdown. Whistle never blew. Ball was never controlled by the Falcons. To the ground. You can see the knee down right there. Get his hand on Winfield as he recovered that fumble. A loss of eight, now third and 12. Brady in a three-point game. Wants to go deep. And for Godwin, he hangs on inside the 10. Chris Godwin, first and goal box. Just over three minutes to go. Excellent tackle. The ball comes out. And the Buccaneers have it. Sean Murphy Bunting. But that's not what Murphy Bunting did right there. He went for the ball. He knew he had secured the tackle, if you will, or he had help coming. Try to get that ball out. He does. Time for Brady. And the catch. There's a flag down as Antonio Brown spins into the end zone for a touchdown. And Godwin and a Buck defense that hopefully is in better health shape for the playoffs from their standpoint. Max, do you think that Brady is under the most pressure this weekend? I do. I think he's under the most pressure. It sounds ridiculous, right? Six time Super Bowl champion, the greatest of all time, the GOAT under the most pressure. Yeah, man. In this weekend, I'm not talking about the entire playoffs, this weekend, you're playing a, a sub 500 team. You're playing a sub 500 team whose quarterback was done a long time ago and then came back and then was hurt again and they had to get rid of the other guy who they thought was going to be their quarterback and they're just starting to figure things out. You have to beat that team, particularly when you went to a place with an embarrassment of riches on offense. I give Brady credit. I'm not saying, oh, Brady just set himself up for success. He did, but you got to give him credit, and I do. He played exceptionally well, particularly as the season went on. This is a Bucks team that is peaking at just the right time. And do I think that has something to do with Tom Brady and his wisdom that comes with that experience and his own greatness and leadership? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But for all those reasons, what possible excuse could he have for losing to Washington? In the uh, will Washington be a big test for Tom Brady? <clears throat> nope. Not a big test at all. Um, this will be a warm-up lap for the race wow. to a Super Bowl well, I, championship. Can y'all cut this tape, please? <laughs> yeah, cut it. This is going Hold to on, crush let me frame your up. Career. Let me frame up if they're going to cut it. What Marcellus just said is going to come back and haunt you so bad. Really? Really? Yes. I ain't please scared of ghosts. Please say it again. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Um, this will be a warm-up lap on the race to a Super Bowl championship <laughs> for Tom Brady <laughs> and the Buccaneers. Like the rookie out of Michigan. With the tackle. Speaking of Michigan, here is Tom Brady. Speaking of the playoffs, 
Here's a guy who's won 30 playoff games. Washington and Tampa franchises have combined to win 29. Tampa brings pressure, picked up for the moment. Heineke has it deflected, and it looks like it's intercepted. Leonard Fournette at the back on third and three. On play action, Brady to his second look. It's open. It's Antonio Brown for the touchdown. Ah! Ah! Goal. Heineke inside give. It's McKissick to the end zone. Washington touchdown. Commented on that at age 43. Deep drop here, Brady down the middle, it's caught for the touchdown, Godwin. He beat Ronald Darby, and Chris Godwin extends the Tampa Bay lead. This is the Bruce Arians shots that they want to take. Bring in extra tight ends, make you think, run, get you to come down. Man-to-man -man coverage, Chris Godwin runs away from Ronald Darby. Second and fourth, Gronk releases as Brady goes deep down the left side for Evans, and it's incomplete. Kendall Fuller didn't give him much space. 1,000 receiving yards. Third and four, and Brady quick in the middle. Cameron break the tight end for the first down at the 45-yard line. <laughs> Could tell us that. It looked like he just came out and ran over the defensive back and got open. And he saw Brady lose the ball. As, uh, as he came down, hopped right back on it. It's tied for the lead in receptions with three here tonight. And Vaughn with a good run. To the 38, but the ball comes out. It. Bostic tried to get it. It was behind him. He tried to work it back with one arm behind his legs. And now there's a pile, and the officials now blow the whistle. Let's see how they unpile this. Washington coming out saying that they have it, and they do. From the Bills and the Vikings, third and five. Heineke in trouble again. He's able to escape. Keeps the play alive. Runs for the first down. Dives with the pylon. Is he in? Is he in? Yes, touchdown. What a run. What a play by Heineke. Adjustment to the play. They bring it. Logan Thomas has a lot of bodies to fight through, and he's not going to get there. Tampa all year, mostly on the practice squad. First and ten, here is Brady, he launches and is brought in by Evans at the three-yard line. Second and goal now for Brady. And he'll give to Fournette, he powers it in That's from the left I, side and in for the touchdown. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for, Mike. Ten. Again protected, throwing that corner route. And Cam Sims, did he get the feet down? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Second and eight. No snap. Brady's got that. Shot downfield for Evans who brings it in and goes out of bounds. Second and nine. And Brady pressured here and sacked again. Second time Deron Payne gets through. Just two hurries. Huge play. Third and 18. And Brady will throw it underneath. It is complete and a great effort by Godwin. He's blocked an extra point earlier. Officially 37. Almost got there and suck up just sneaks it inside. 22, it's third and ten, and the pressure's coming. Heineke, look out from behind. He gets brought down and sacked by Levante David. A big loss there. I sit back there, play coverage. They rush four. Heineke still is flushed. He's pressured. He's got to fling it. Got to have it. Throws it down. grabs and incomplete. Logan Thomas almost came up with it. Bruce, who came into coaching as a head coach at age 60. Coached in Arizona, then was out, did some TV. Now has bounced back in. In January 26, 2003, our pal John Gruden and the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl. It's the last time Tampa Bay has celebrated a postseason victory. And, and if New Orleans wins, they'll play the Saints. Or if Chicago wins... The site of the Super Bowl will see a divisional playoff game with the Rams and the Buccaneers next weekend. Each time that I've lost in the regular season to a team and had to play that team in the playoffs, yep, we won. Mm -hmm. Did it in 97. We lost to Kansas City, yep. lost the playoff, went back in the playoffs, won. Did it to Pittsburgh in the regular season, went back in the playoffs, and won. Mm -hmm. So anytime we lose, you lose, you, I, I feel that I'm in an, an advantageous situation because you're going to be looking at it like, hey, we keep the same game play. Hey, this was perfect. Mm -hmm. While they're 
in the kitchen, in the kitchen cooking, concocting something different. Mm. Can you pressure him with four without compromising your secondary? Mm. The Saints do a very good job of that, and I believe they have the offensive firepower. Because, Skip, again, I tell you, their defense can be had. Their defense, I mean, I've been trying to say, Skip, I see some things. Even when they blew out Green Bay, I say, Skip, I see some weaknesses. Mm. I see some vulnerabilities in there. People are like, oh, Nick, are you going to admit you were wrong on Tom Brady? Kind of. I'm kind of going to admit I was wrong on Tom Brady. And in this regard, I did think Washington would be able to get a consistent pass rush. And on the first drive, it looked like they were going to. They hit him a couple times. It was like, oh, this is exactly what we needed. But they weren't able to get a consistent pass rush. And even the few times they did get home, Brady was able to follow it up with a very good play. And so I have to give him credit. If you would have told me Washington's going to score 23, I say I would say, perfect. That's all <clears throat> they need to win. Um, everything the Bucks have and can do well, the Saints can stop. Mm. The Bucks have great receivers. Okay, Saints have a lockdown cornerback, Marshawn Lattimore. The Bucks, they do not do well. Tom Brady in his old age does a lot well, but doesn't do well evading the pass rush. Saints, Cameron Jordan, one of the top pass rushers since he entered the league, uh. 94 and a half sacks on his career. Mm. The Bucks, ah, they do have some weapons defensively, great linebackers and whatnot. Oh, but the Saints have Kamara and they have Michael Thomas and they also have a veteran safety in Malcolm Jenkins. Oh, and speaking of Malcolm Jenkins, it'd be one thing if I, Marcellus, who have never been in the locker room for the Saints, came on here and said, man, I got confidence or don't have confidence in the Bucks. It's another thing when somebody on the field comes on our show and says himself, Exactly why he knows and how they can continue to stop the Bucks. Your past yeah. behavior, the Saints shut them boys Without down. Bias. Future okay. behavior, okay. the Saints gonna shut them down. Uh, mm. Now it's been roughly 70 days or 10 weeks, depending on how you want to do your mathematics, and we're gonna see the game be played again. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing. Nobody's changed. changed. <laughs> it's gonna be the same. Oh. And so I oh. would have to be oh. an idiot. I would have to be well, insane I mean, to think that there would be a difference. You said it. I'm not. I'm not convinced yet that you are. <laughs> but the Saints, I think, will do the convincing this weekend. Again, don't let these bucks fool you. I don't know if you bought Buccaneer stock. I didn't know that they went public. Uh, I don't know that you bought stock in the Buccaneers. But, sir, please sell it before it's too late. Please, please, please sell this stock because it's about to come crap. I love you. Wanna, I love you. Do you believe that he will pull off this upset in New Orleans? I don't, and I do think it would be an upset, not just according to the odds makers. I expect the Saints to win. The Bucks are peaking at the right time. There's no question. They look like they're firing on all cylinders. But let's keep in mind, when I, and I know it's hard to imagine. People think, well, can you imagine Tom Brady being beaten three times by a team in his own division who he knows he has to beat? Boy, that's hard to imagine. But in fact, what history bears out is if one team beats another twice in the regular season, they're going to do it again in the playoffs. Because the fact is, as hard as it is to imagine that, oh, you're going to lose three times, the fact that they lost twice to that team indicates they're not quite as good, or at least the matchup isn't good for them. It's that they have a front four that can get pressure on the quarterback. And Tom Brady, no, no quarterback likes pressure, but especially not Tom Brady, when you don't have to blitz, when you can just bring four. And, and they can do it. The Saints can do it. They can get pressure on Tom Brady with their front four. That's bad for Brady. Brady Breeze. It's the oldest quarterback matchup to start a game in NFL history. But Tampa Bay, if they're able to make a stop, it's a big win for them. Here's one to the end zone. It is incomplete. Sam, they have to get this away. Play clock at two. And Mott's able to knock it through from 23 yards away. Through. Third down and six. Brady is sacked. To get him to the ground. Lutz knocks it through from 42. Second and nine now. This one's picked. Intercepted by the Bucks. And it's Murphy bunting down the sideline. He is gonna be marked out at the three. An interception by Sean Murphy Bunting, his second of this postseason, and that is instant life for the Buccaneers. And I'll tell you, Sean Murphy Bunting was beat. He was beat, but because of the route, 
Michael Thomas has just gone to the flat. Had he have been running an out and up or anything down the field, there's nobody there. There's From the three, Brady throws, pass caught, Evans touchdown. Tampa Bay on top as he works against Marshawn Lattimore. Talking about Mike Evans, the size that he has at 6'5", he's able to get inside, use his body like you would in basketball. Brady just tries to stick it on him and let him shield Lattimore off of him. Well, now they've got Winston lined up wide to the outside in a direct snap to Kamara. Now Winston, now Traquan Smith. Flag is down. Smith is into the end zone for a touchdown. Zone Smith spinning and they got it for the touchdown. What a catch! What a third down and two. Quick throw. Cook makes the catch. First down. Balls out and into the arms of Devin White. It's a takeaway by this defense. After Winfield, the rookie, forced the fumble. And they get the rub. Jared Cook is wide open. And just an excellent job by Winfield, who was beat, coming in under in behind him. On that, their left tackle. Brady with play action. He finds Brait. Cameron Brait. And Good protection again. Pass caught. Touchdown for net. Buccaneers turn that takeaway into at least six. A rare Scotty Miller sighting. And that's who Brady goes to, and he's got him. A flag is thrown at the end of the play, maybe on the tackle, and Scotty Miller is first target. And there's actually two flags, and both fouls appear to be against New Orleans. Just enough of a double move to get you Norris Jenkins biting on the out route. 36-yard try here for Sunday. He's got it, and this catches for Michael Thomas. You see the total yards in the game, second and eight. Breeze throws, and he's picked by Devin White. Another turnover, and White picks his way down the sideline. Takeaway number three for this Tampa Bay defense. Devin White right in the middle and Kamara's thinking he's going to get this ball further up the field. He's not even looking and Devin White cluing in on the quarterback is able to adjust and undercut that throw. Kamara's thinking he's going to get it down the field beyond the linebacker level. Brady's going to take it. Touchdown. Tom Brady has got the touchdown on the carry from just outside the one. They've got to get somebody down the middle or up the sideline. Breeze able to step into this one. This one's up for grabs and picked. Intercepted by Mike Edwards. It's been quite a year. It's third down and three, and that's going to do it. That'll take this game to the two-minute warning as Fournette who's had another strong game, has a five-yard pickup and a first down. As Arians in his second year has taken the Bucks with the help from a 43-year-old quarterback named Brady to get into the NFC Championship game for that matchup against Aaron Rodgers and the multifaceted red-hot attack of the Green Bay Packers. What a game that'll be. Green Bay, I think, is the best team left. They've had a different leading receiver in each of their last three games. So they're balanced throwing the ball. They had 188 yards rushing against the Rams, the most in a playoff game in the Aaron Rodgers era. So now Aaron's got his best rushing offense. I think they have the better offensive line. Aaron Rodgers, by the way, is very rare. You get all the upside with 11 total giveaways this season. That includes the playoffs. They just don't give you opportunities. How good teams often lose and better teams often lose is wasted opportunities or turnovers. They don't do either. They're the number one red zone touchdown offense in the NFL this year. They don't waste opportunities.
like Kansas City. They don't turn it over, and they dominate time of possession, number one in the NFL. So Brady's the way you lose. He won't get the ball much. Packers win. It's the game I'm betting. It's a three-point spread. I think Green Bay wins and covers 33-26. to 26 would say that not only is he said he don't want to play there no more and, and in the cold that is living mm. the cold that is mm. but also I think his body's probably forgotten how to execute <laughs> at such a high level that it has think about the other star players Mike Evans I told y'all yesterday played college at Texas A&M then played in uh in, in Tampa his whole career mm. Leonard Fournette played yeah. at LSU Jacksonville then Tampa Ronald Jones the other star running back USC and then Tampa I think their star players aren't necessarily want acclimated it. for this climate star players are going to be integral in the star quarterback success that's my third reason why I'm trusting Aaron Rodgers more but I can't pick Tom Brady this week oh here we I go Max. It, Max I can't do it that bad man the brother my brother from another mother, him and Travis Kelsey. That's what I say about them. They're my brothers from another mother. They are special. And when it comes to Aaron Rodgers, who I believe to be the greatest talent at the quarterback position ever, mm -hmm. okay, ever, wow. I'm rolling with Aaron Rodgers. Wow. Rodgers better not lose. That's what I'll say. He better not lose. All this time I've been talking about the cliff and everything else, but I always said Tom Brady's the GOAT. Yeah. But I also said he hasn't been the best. The mm -hmm. best has been Rodgers, Prima Holmes. The best is Rodgers. Brady's the most accomplished guy. And it's hard to separate the circumstance from the player. It's such a team sport. Well, if Brady didn't have Belichick, but he did have Belichick. And then Aaron Rodgers did the discount double pump in the end zone for a touchdown right. that didn't That's even count. And from that moment forward, it was a disaster. It was from that moment forward, the Packers yep. had 53 yards of offense. Rodgers threw a pick six. He threw another pick that was almost a pick six, and the Bucks were rolling. It was the worst game of Rodgers' entire career. And as a side note, in a more just world, it would have been a game that absolutely banned him from winning MVP and the rightful MVP this year would be Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> but we don't have to get into that. And so for all those reasons, Wilds, like I do think the Packers yeah. are going to win, but I also think that this is it, you are not going to duplicate what happened in their first meeting. I'm going to Rodgers. Um, I expect Rodgers to be spectacular, and for the most part, he's been spectacular in every game that he's played this year, with the exception of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Give them credit. The defense got after him. He made the one mistake early, came back, followed that up with another mistake, and then he wasn't the same. I don't care what he'll tell you. He said it wasn't confidence, but they took his confidence. I look at both of these teams. I believe both of these teams have gotten better. But the Packers have gotten exponentially better. Skip, at the time that they played them, Aaron Rodgers wasn't, wasn't even thought of in the MVP discussion. Everybody was talking about Russ. Everybody was talking about uh, my homeboy. Even Brady, after that game, Brady had gotten into the discussion for the MVP. Everybody had written Aaron Rodgers off. But since then, he has not looked back yet. They haven't won every game, but his play has been spectacular up until then. I got bad news for you. Mm. You won't even get a chance to see that matchup. Mm. You won't even get a chance to see if he could defend his honor and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and pay my homeboy back because mm. you're not going. Mm. <laughs> Shannon Sharp, your worst nightmare is about to fall like the darkness at about 5 o'clock Central Time. <laughs> In Green Bay. Man, you know that song, Skip? One of my favorite songs when I was growing up, mm. it's a love song. Mm. Uh, Boys to Men. Mm. Is this the end of the road? Mm. Is this the end of the road? Shannon. It's the end of the road for you. you it's the end no. of the road. Held the Rams to two for eight. Brady floats it. He's got Evans. What a throw and a sliding catch. Evans is going to be marked down inside the 35. To the 33, a 27-yard completion. Well, the Packers, they bring blitz on the first third down. They've... Brady throws end zone. He's got Evans for the touchdown. Third down conversions on their way down the field. And Mike Evans 
is in for the score and the early points for the Buccaneers here on the road. Well, Kevin King comes up, he gets a jam on him, and then he doesn't really retreat after that. And Evans is just able to get him behind him, go to the corner, and mistimes his jump on the ball. Good protection, Rodgers slides, and now time runs out. Play is made by Shaq Barrett. Good matchup with Corey Lindsley, one of the best in the game. Here's one down the sideline. It is caught. Touchdown, Green Bay. Third down and nine. Brady slides. He's going for Godwin downfield. And a juggle and a catch. Working on Darnell Savage. On first down, Fournette stutter steps. And now is able to bounce. What a move, a spin, and touchdown! What a run by Leonard Fournette to put Tampa Bay back on top. Couple times now. He's really made Turner almost anticipate the snap count. Here's a pick by Murphy Bunting. That's his third of this postseason, one in each game. Fourth down and three, the pass is caught. The first down picked up by Fournette. Brady goes for the deep shot. He's got a touchdown! Scotty Miller! Oh my God! Scotty Miller got behind the defense and for 39 yards gets the touchdown and what a half. One on one. I mean, right out here, one-on-one, -on -one, a middle safety, one-on-one. -on -one. Kevin King is trying to bail. He's trying to stay on top of it. Pass to Jones coming across the field, and that's a fumble. Picked up by Devin White. White is inside the 10. Picked up by his teammate. Devin White back of the end zone. Touchdown breaks. And on the first play after the takeaway, Brady finds Cameron Brait for the touchdown. Now it's third and goal. Extra men on the rush. Pass caught. Touchdown. Adams. Rodgers on the two-point try. And zone dropped. Third down and five. And add another one to it. Shaq Barrett. Different story for Tampa Bay on second down. Gronk gets into the action on a tight end screen. Rob Gronkowski out of bounds near the 30. Ryan Suckup. Rodgers. Moves, throws, pass broken up. Adams a target well defended. Instead of going for it here on fourth and goal, Crosby makes this a five-point game again. Keeps, throws, pass caught. Evans is fighting. He got nine. Brady floats it. Pass incomplete. And there are now a flag comes flying in. Take a closer look at this. There was the jersey grab. Pass interference, defense, number 20. The ball he placed at the spot of the foul. First down, Tampa Bay. It came in really late, Joe. Toss to Godwin. He's got the first down, and this game's over. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady are going to Super Bowl 55. Allow me to be the first person to congratulate my hometown team on back-to-back -back titles. It's been a long time coming for a team to win back-to-back -back titles. It used to happen all the time. 60s, you had the Packers. 70s, you had the Dolphins. The Steelers did it twice. 80s, you had the Niners. 90s, you had the Cowboys and the Broncos. And the aughts, you had the Patriots. It's been 16 years. We had never gone a decade 
But now, the streak is finally broken. The Chiefs have won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. So congratulations, Kansas City, on a Super Bowl you're going to win. And Brandon, if the Bucks want to run the football, more power to you. If you want to beat the Chiefs by right. playing that stupid time of possession, keep the ball out of Mahomes' hands, I dare you. <laughs> so that's why for this game, Brian, with respect to your positional brethren, I have the running backs where I do. The only way the Chiefs <laughs> lose this game is strip sacks. Mahomes is not going to throw picks. Oh. Mahomes is not going to turn the ball over that way, and the Chiefs aren't a high fumble team. I have more proof that Tom will struggle early in this game. In the first half of his last three Super Bowls, zero touchdowns, three picks, and a 74.2 quarterback rating. I've just got more signs that Kansas City's better and more signs that Brady will struggle early and against pressure. I think a lot of this game is played within the 20s. I think Super Bowls, though Tampa has a deeper roster, are generally decided by stars. I will take Kansas City to win 31 to 24. I do not say this with great conviction. The weather's crappy. It hurts the more vertical offense. That would be Kansas City. Tampa's at home. The Chiefs have a major left tackle injury. They're using a backup against a dominating pass rush, JPP Shaq Barrett. Vita Via is healthy, meaning the Chiefs won't run a ton. But like last year, I thought San Francisco was better than Kansas City. Y'all, I think I'm taking the Bucks. I think I'm taking the Bucks. I'm not taking the damn Bucks, G. I'm not picking against Patrick Let's Mahomes go. and Andy Reid. I'm going, I'm going to the end. I said I, I picked against the Kansas City Chiefs one time this year, and they won by like 40 against the Dolphins when the Dolphins' defense <laughs> was playing great, and the Dolphins <laughs> turned them over a bunch of times. And guess what happened? The Kansas City Chiefs won the game. I believe Mahomes is the difference maker. I think Fox Bet, and I think all these gambling sites believes Mahomes is the difference maker. Mm. So I'm going Kansas City 38. I'm going Tampa 34. Mm. And the Chiefs become the first team in 16 years since the great New England team mm. to go back to back. There is one man in sports I do not bet against, especially when the stakes are highest and the pressure is greatest. That man is Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr., he is the no-doubt goat, yet he is the doubted goat by so many. Number one in takeaways is Tampa Bay. What have they been doing to everybody they play? What did they do to Drew Brees? What did they do at Green Bay? We don't give it away, though. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what we don't do. Okay, well, good luck. Can we see what Tyreek did what after did the 17 to nothing touchdown on November 29th? That, that. I, they, you, we should see it over and over and over and over and again. You're probably gonna see it again. Yep, yep. You're probably oh, gonna see it again. Okay. All right, good. I want to. I, I dare you, Tyreek. <laughs> I dare you to backflip in the Super well, Bowl. Andy I him, dare you. And Andy told him to say, "Wait, because you know we don't want anybody to cheap shot, and yep. you know we won't be able to finish the game because we gonna, you know, we gonna swing it out." Mm. But anyway, Skip, you could have stopped that. You could have uh. prevented that. All you had to do was just like stop Tyreek. What is my Super Bowl prediction? Well, no one knows what's going to happen in the Super Bowl. I think predictions are pretty darn worthless. And if I'm right, it's only because of blind luck. So I'm going to say Chiefs 31-24, Patrick Mahomes MVP. I mean, really going out on a limb there. Mm -hmm. Sports Nation looking for a little filler from us. <laughs> uh, I've got the Chiefs. Minus three. That was the margin last time when they met in week 12. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember that game, Tyreek Hill had 200 yards receiving in the first quarter. And by the time the Bucs figured out what hit him, it was too late. And I just don't think their secondary can keep up with the Chiefs receivers. I also think a Tyron Matthew player to watch. He's going to give Tom Brady some fits in this game. He's a ball hawk. I expect him to make a key turnover somewhere in this game. And I think the Chiefs win by more than three and win their second consecutive Super Bowl. I'm picking the Chiefs over the Bucks, 42 to 30, and here's why. Yes, Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, but the greatest quarterback right now is Patrick Mahomes. And last time I checked, this game was going to be played in 2021, not 2014. I have my concerns about how well the Chiefs can protect Patrick Mahomes down two tackles, plus JPP and Shaq Barrett have been so good coming off the edge for the Bucks. However, 
Andy Reid is almost unbeatable and he has an extra week to prepare. I'm going to go Chiefs 34, Bucks 28. Book it. All right, so here's my pick for Super Bowl 55. It's actually pretty simple when you break it down. I'm going Tommy in Tampa Bay for this reason. In a year like 2020, where anything and everything that wasn't supposed to happen happened, why wouldn't the Buccaneers win with being the first team ever to play a Super Bowl in the host city? Give me Tampa, and I'm also going to give you a bonus. Devin White, Super Bowl MVP. I'm even going to give you a score, 31-26. You've been spoiled with my knowledge. Tampa Bay, first to do it. They get the win in their home stadium. Here's the thing, I would absolutely love to see the Kansas City Chiefs win and beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and repeat as Super Bowl champions because it almost never happens. It's been like 15 years. The problem is, I don't think that's going to happen because of the issues they have on their offensive line. I think it's going to be too tough for Patrick Mahomes and company to overcome, even though it is Patrick Mahomes. So I think it's going to be really close, just like last year's Niners Chiefs Super Bowl. But this time, I think Tom Brady gets it again and gets Super Bowl win number seven this time. With Buccaneers. So who do I have to win the Super Bowl? Okay, you know what I'm thinking of right now? I'm thinking about Ashley because she's Hollywood, and that's like the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, he's got the hair, he's got the, the, the TV campaign, all of that. And you know what? This is the best team in the league. So before we try to debate Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, let's just figure this out. 15-1, and one, dominant through the postseason. Who do you think's going to win? It's the Chiefs. Oh, it's prediction time? Greg, so... Uh... What's Twelman doing? Who's he picking? Brady in the box, huh? That leaves me no choice. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Chiefs or the Bucks? Yes, you already know what it is, baby. It's the Chiefs. Baby. I told you, it's the Chiefs. It's, it's baby. the Chiefs because Liar. Patrick Mahomes is just that dude. I like Chiefs 32 to 24. Uh, it's going to be high scoring. I do uh, think the Bucks will slow the Chiefs uh, down for a quarter, maybe two, about 50 cents worth. But at the end of the day, Patrick Mahomes, he is going to do what he always does. Here's my prediction. What's up? Uh, it's the Bucks. 29 to 27. Though you think it's the Chiefs. It's the defense, man. They're going to hold them boys under 30 points. They're going to be able to ground and pound them. And once you do that, Tom Brady's going to open up. Oh, Mike Evans, what you doing down there? Hey, AB, who you over there? You playing? Uh, Chris Godwin, what's up? Here's another big ball. That's all they're going to do. They're really going to go back to their old dink and dunk game. And going with Kansas City, 38-34. I think that Tyreek Hill is a monster. I think Travis Kelsey is too. And Patrick Mahomes is the one throwing them the football. I think too much offensive firepower when it counts. I'm going with Kansas City by four, 38-34. Um, 31-27, Molly's right, but it's going to be the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is going to do exactly what Dan said he has to do. He's going to be Superman in a game where they should not be favored. They should be the underdog. Patrick, Patrick Mahomes will defy logic. And, and have the game of his life, and the Chiefs will win narrowly, probably in a comeback. I like it. Listen, I'm taking Kansas City. I took Kansas City back in February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I'm sure as heck not going to turn my back now. Uh, I think their defense is way better than people have given it credit for. I also think in football, sometimes you ride turnover waves. And at some point, that wave stops. And, and Tampa Bay has ridden a turnover wave and Patrick Mahomes does a lot of things. He just doesn't give the ball away that often. I don't expect him to do it in the Super Bowl. They're the best coach team in football. They've got the best player in football. And they're the roster that is most constructed to play high-level football in the NFL right now. The time has finally arrived. The legend of all legends still thirsting for another title. And the thrilling young superstar who hoisted the Lombardi a year ago. Antonio Brown is in this game. Third and eight. And they get to him. Brady is sacked back at the 29. Pressure again. Mahomes. Look at this throw. Down deep and almost pulled in by Hill. On the year 49 yard attempt. And that kick is good. First points of the game from the 45. Six DBs on the field for the Chiefs. Brady goes sideline, and he has his man. That's Antonio Brown. Him and Patrick were about this game. Play action. They go to Brate with a blocker in front. 
Cameron Brait down to about the 24. Rear announcer jinxes. Here is Brady's pass. It's Gronkowski. Back again. The biggest tandem for touchdowns now in postseason history. The old Patriot teammates reunite in the Super Bowl for a score. Oh, and they got him back. They started to utilize him since Kansas City. He's been in a ton, 13 touchdown, most by a quarterback receiver duo all time in the postseason history. Gronk is back, Jim. And another screen pass right there to him. Fake it right here. Everyone come over and just throw him a little flat screen. A little pick play. Quite that high. Of course, the career not as long either. First and ten. Brady from the pocket. He's got Evans. Jones is the running back. <laughs> Fake to Jones. Over the top they go. Oh, and it was a pass to Haig, the extra lineman we had just mentioned. Three. Is nobody really thinks they're going to throw the ball to a guy who lets it hit his helmet. <laughs> no. <laughs> right side, fourth and goal. As Jones, did he break the plane? Still looking, no signal. Oh, this is going to be close, Jim. Because if the signal happens, it's got to be clear. And they get a stop, Jim. So we're going to find out right now. Patrick Mahomes going to have to do some crazy special stuff. In third and eight. Look at that throw. Oh, and it's dropped by Kelsey. He was getting hit by his ankles. Here's third and five. Incomplete. Trenner to snap it back. From 40. Suck up is good, but there's a flag down. Now, this came on a fourth and five. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's offsides, I mean, someone lines up offsides sometimes, you never know. Offside, number 20, defense, lined up in the neutral zone. Five yards results in a first down. Yeah, it's enough. Now it's tough to stop again. Brady, play action. Looking. Third option, end zone, caught! Gronkowski again with the touchdown. Hold on, there's a flag. Jim, this is going to be a touchdown. I think Kansas City held again on the other. Watch Gronk. They're going to hold, right? This team holds a lot. But he's so big, he's just going to push off, and that's the guy in this game that's troublesome if you're Kansas City and see that laser and the time Brady had set up. Big play here, coming after him. Way back, all the way to the 35. And it's incomplete. Townsend on the hole. And that kick is high and good. Oh, will they get Brady more time to do something? Bucks move the chains. As Gronkowski has his fifth catch of the night. He says, but he's learned that this year. 23 seconds to go. Here's the deep ball for this week. Oh, and he, did he trip him? Breland's going to be flagged. And too tight for you to say that's uncatchable. With 18 seconds, Brady goes in the middle of the field to Fournette, who powers down to the nine. You don't dare run it here. You fake it here, and then you run on the next one if you don't get it. There's the fake. There's the pass. And there's the catch for the touchdown. Antonio Brown. Just unbelievable route by Antonio Brown, and what a job. Brady throws this ball down low and away where no one can get it but him. It's been in the past. Antonio Brown with his Super Bowl touchdown. He played in Super Bowl 45 as a rookie. Bruce Arians was the offensive coordinator for the Steelers. He caught one ball for one yard, was mostly a returner. And again, one to A.B. <laughs> and here's the unsportsman like he's running after him Matthew's going at him Tom's not one to just walk away from a good talk he's like hey you got something in your eye Jim <laughs> that are really good <laughs> Mahomes circles back throws on the run and it's knocked down and no flag Kelsey. It's all in his legs.
And Butker. Right into the net and good. I can tell you watching them on the sideline before the half, there was a lot of frustration. Several players had to be calmed down, including Tyron Matthew. Andy Reid, Steve Spagnuolo pulling him aside to talk to him. He sets the tone for this team. They cannot afford to lose him. He's got to get this. They're coming after him here. They rush five. It's picked up. Burnett with the catch. And running over. It's Gronkowski running through that secondary. Fournette. 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 Touchdown, Tampa Bay. This one, this will live on the test of time forever against Brady in this situation. He is taken down by Shaq Barrett. It's time. It's going to be tough. Third and 14. He heaves it. It's knocked away. And on the deflection, it's intercepted. There is a flag down. But that is Winfield. Suckup's kick. Good. Second and nine. Able to escape. Sue is on him, misses him, pass off the hands of Robinson. He played at a pass on third down tonight. Can he do it this time? Reverse his course. He's all the way back at the 30. Barrett is on him. Heaves it before the whistle. And Pringle has it in his hands. They rule it incomplete. <laughs> that was fourth and nine. Again, running for his life. Mahomes got it away. Incomplete. White knocks it down. Just five minutes remaining. Oh, what a hit. Ball is out. Recovered by Kansas City. But Mahomes is just hammered by Indomitian Sue. He's trying to see him right there. Cam Gilden on two. Just trying to do anything to help his team and taking a huge shot. He's got guts. Definitely on the line, Jim. You don't get this one. I'm calling it. Mahomes. Chase. Chase running out of real estate. Throws. Incomplete. And Tampa Bay makes another stop. And this culture has changed forever. Here comes Mahomes. Trying to find the end zone. And no, how about that? One last indignity. Intercepted by White. That defense, tremendous tonight. You have guessed when this impossible season was trying to launch that you'd get it all in. You'd get to Tampa, and when the Super Bowl ended, the ball would be in the hands of Tom Brady. I don't know why we ever think it won't. It's gotten almost not realistic in anything that we've ever thought. This guy just changes the mold of the way we think and continues, and there's Spagnuolo telling him. I have no saying, answers for you tonight. That's what he's saying. And right here, here's Brady saying, hey. Deep in touch, he says. Here's looking at you, kid. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a second Super Bowl title. The family celebrating. It's mom and dad right there in the center. And there's more to come, right, Tom? There's more to come as far as football. Yeah, we're coming back. We're coming you back. know that. Coming back. Tom Brady's coming back. There we go. Congratulations, the Tampa Bay Bucks, Super Bowl 55 champions.